Are you experiencing kidney issues or undergoing imaging tests? If so, you may come across the term caliceal diverticulum. This rare benign condition is an outpouching from a renal calyx that connects with the kidney's collecting system. Unlike a caliceal cyst, which is a simple fluid-filled sac without any connection, to the collecting system, a caliceal diverticulum is directly linked to the renal calluses. It can contain urine, calculi, stones, or debris. The interesting thing about these conditions is that they are often incidental findings during imaging, as they typically do not cause any symptoms. When it comes to diagnosing a caliceal diverticulum, ultrasound imaging is commonly used. Here are some key findings that may be observed. Location and appearance, a caliceal diverticula are usually found within the renal sinus or near the calluses. On ultrasound, they appear as well-defined, fluid-filled structures. They are often round or oval in shape, and the content inside may appear anechoic or hypoechoic. Ullis posterior acoustic enhancement. Similar to other cystic structures, a caliceal diverticulum shows posterior acoustic enhancement. This means that the area behind it appears brighter. On the ultrasound image, tonic communication with collecting system. Then is one crucial feature that helps differentiate a caliceal diverticulum from a cyst is its connection with the renal calluses. This communication may be visible on ultrasound, and it allows the passage of urine, or small stones between the diverticulum, and the collecting system. To internal contents, depending on the situation, the diverticulum may contain echogenic debris, or small calculi. This is especially likely if urine has been stagnant in the diverticulum. Another imaging technique that may be employed is color, Doppler imaging. Here are some findings specific to this technique. Twinkle artifact. If the caliceal diverticulum contains calculi, a twinkle artifact may be observed on color Doppler imaging. This is characterized by a rapidly changing color signal behind the stone. A lack of vascularity on the diverticulum itself typically does not show internal blood flow. This confirms its cystic nature. To distinguish a caliceal diverticulum from a caliceal cyst, there are a couple of features to consider. So communication. The primary distinguishing feature is the communication with the renal collecting system. A caliceal diverticulum has a visible connection to the calluses. Unlike a caliceal cyst, which is an isolated, non-communicating cyst, or internal characteristics, a caliceal diverticulum may contain debris or small stones, while a caliceal cyst appears as a simple, anechoic structure without any internal echoes. Finally, there are some differential diagnoses to be aware of when considering a caliceal diverticulum. These include simple renal cyst. A simple renal cyst lacks communication with the renal collecting system. It is usually located in the renal cortex or medulla Canus parapelvic cyst, this type of cyst is found in the renal sinus, but does not connect with the calluses, unlike a caliceal diverticulum. Hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis involves the dilation of the renal calluses and pelvis, and there is clear communication present, unlike the localized outpouching seen in a caliceal diverticulum. Milk of calcium cyst. This type of cyst contains echogenic material with acoustic shadowing, which is distinct from the simple cyst. These imaging findings and differentiating factors are essential in the diagnosis and appropriate management of caliceal diverticula. Hopefully this overview has shed some light on this rare condition and its imaging characteristics.